The Associated Press is reporting that radiation has now reached the West Coast, where meteorologists predicted it would make landfall in Los Angeles. Uh, they're whitewashing it, saying that it's minuscule. Ann Coulter is actually in the news, saying that radiation is actually healthy and good for you. You cannot make this magnitude of evil up. And tonight, Ann uh, Coulter has a new column out today about the nuke situation in Japan. And here she is. The column is entitled, A Glowing Report on Radiation. Glowing radiation, very, very good. But you are not down on radiation poisoning. Well, it's not me. I'm citing a stunning number of physicists. And from the New York Times and the Times of London, there, there's a growing body of evidence that uh, radiation in excess of what the government uh, says is, are the minimum amount, amounts right. you should be exposed to are actually good for you and reduce cases of cancer. Um, the New York Times... Um, science section, for example, a few years ago reported on a study from Canada um, where all these women who had had tuberculosis got an inordinate number of chest x-rays. Well, their breast cancer rate was lower than the general population. Um, the, there were um, apartments put up in Taiwan in 1993 that accidentally contained an inordinate amount of cobalt-60, a radioactive substance. After 16 years, 10,000 occupants of these buildings um, being, being hit with five times what the government says is the minimum amount you should be hit with. They are, they, the number of cancer cases they had, there were about 10,000 occupants, was only five cases. Now, for the general population in that same age group, a group of 10,000 Taiwanese should have gotten about 170 so cases why, of cancer. So why, if those things have happened, why isn't the established medical um, organizations or establishment uh, saying that, you know, some kind of radiation can ward off infections? Why aren't they saying? Well, they are. They're not getting a lot of media attention for it. This guy, the, the coolest cat in my column is this Bernard Cohen at the University of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, he did a study of 90% of the counties in the U.S., and he looked at levels of radon, radioactive substance from the earth, and lung cancer rates. And they were inversely related so dramatically that it couldn't be explained so, so by So some radiation smoke. in the body acts as an agent to ward off cancer. That's You're what so, that's scientists, that's many that. scientists okay. believe. As the New York Times science section has reported, it doesn't get press because... So by your account, we should all be heading for the nuclear reactor <laughs> leaking and well, kind of sunbathing out there. <laughs> there in front of car and you know come on well interestingly um, at the, it's called hormesis, that, that's how it appears to be pronounced, I've only read about it, um, the beneficial effects of radiation. At a, a conference on hormesis at the University of Massachusetts a few years ago, the scientists come and talk about the beneficial effects of radiation. Then they went to a spa in Boulder, Montana, where people pay to go 85 feet into the ground, into a mine, in order to be exposed to, to excessive radiation. levels of radiation, right. which they think it's good for you. But I, don't wanna, I want the audience to be very cautious about all this is all theoretical at this point. But the but point there, is, there is that the no media doubt, will not report this of course not. because and we a did, it's right. not sensationalistic to say oh humans are going to have two heads and b it's an anti nuclear But I don't know if it would be responsible at this point to re to make that a hard news thing. It's okay to to kick it around like we are. No, because I think you should have some of these physicists. No, on. Well, well, look like the one you had on is, last night was pretty copacetic no, about what's listen, happening in Japan. Listen to my point. You have to be responsible in a sense that the prevailing wisdom is there is a level of radiation that's going to hurt you and perhaps kill you. All you have to do is look at what happened here in New York City on 9-11. The people exposed just to the debris coming from the collapsed towers are having a myriad of health problems, all right? Health problems all day long. And, and there's a variety of them. So you have to err on the side of caution. What you say may be true. There may be some doses of radiation that in a human body can ward off infection. But in something like this, you have to get the folks out of there. Okay, but and you the have to report is... what you have to report worst case scenario. But, you what have you, to. but what you just described is not true. You say that that what the scientific community says is that at some level radiation right. is bad for you. No, that is not what at least the news is reporting. Well, all you have they to look say is, the look tiniest at the, drop of radiation is dangerous and the point is that is absolutely not Some true. radiation will kill you as we saw in Hiroshima and Nagasaki when people were incinerated. The, the counter argument among the scientists, not among the journalists, among the scientists is there could be other complicating factors. Okay. Perhaps we're not counting um, correlations and not causation. It is not, this effect does not exist.
provocative as usual, and thank you very much. Uh, we're going to be playing that video over the audio while I'm speaking here. We'll start rolling that now, showing what happened in the 10 days uh, after uh, Chernobyl as it went out of Ukraine into northern Europe, into Scandinavia, turned back uh, west over England, over Germany, over France, and then settling in over Italy. For six months, the Italian government, I saw a comment in a news article, I pulled it up, it turned out it was true. For six months in Italy, they only ate frozen food from the United States and Asia. They would not feed in the schools, public and private, by government order, any fresh produce or milk products grown in Europe. And you can see the map on screen. All of Europe got a dose of it. All of Europe, Eastern Europe and Russia got massive dose, and that is only over 10 days. It then circled the Earth at measurable levels for another two years. The red area you see is guaranteed death within a week to a year. The orange area, they're talking about decades taken off your life. The yellow area, many years taken off your life, increased cancers. Uh, just absolutely incredible uh, what happened with Chernobyl. Now, remember, Chernobyl was a smaller plant that only had one explosion and then fires for a day and then another eight days of steam rising <coughs> out of the uh, reactor four. The other reactors there uh, did not explode and were not damaged. One million dead in the 25 years since 1986. One million dead. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm trying, and we're talking to family right now, trying to find somebody to go with my wife and children and leave the United States perhaps for a month. But you know why? Because I know radiation. I've studied it. I know the government's going to tell us everything's fine. And that those maps are going to be suppressed from the American people. Uh, and we're not going to be told how bad it is. And I'm not going to let sit there and let my children huff uranium and plutonium and strontium and radioactive iodine and cesium. So uh, I'm going to stay here and report. But I'm telling you right now, I'm watching the weather patterns. I'm going to watch what comes out from private uh, radiation meters in California, in Washington, in Oregon, in southern uh, areas of Canada, uh, in Alaska, because some of the winds are also sending it up towards Alaska, uh, in the Aleutians. And I personally will send my family to the Caribbean. Because I'm not going to sit here and have my little darlings huffing that stuff like the Europeans did. Period. Period. Now, it will blow over. It'll get mixed in with sand and dirt. And, 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 and then tends to get diluted. It's still radioactive for billions of years, but you have less of a chance of breathing it. But when rain hits in the next week across the United States after this radiation passes, believe me, folks, you don't want to be out there running around in the rain. Uh, you don't want to get any of this on you because you, it will increase your cancer risk exponentially. And the government and the media is not going to tell you this. I'll guarantee you that they're not going to tell American school children, especially where it makes landfall in Southern California with those mountains blocking it in, to not eat the produce and drink the milk uh, for a long period of time. There's not going to be testing of milk. Or if they do, it's going to be fake testing. Because the globalists have a long history, especially in the U.S., of covering everything up, including Three Mile Island, which was estimated a decade after, in the early 1980s, a decade after it happened in the early 1970s, to be at least one hundred times what they had said and that was on the east coast that blew out the sea most of that blew out the sea okay what's happening in japan is blowing out the sea directly towards us okay now four reactors have blown sky high six hundred thousand rods are in a state of disarray ejected into the air on fire this is dwarfing chernobyl conservatively Dwarfing Chernobyl, and many experts are now saying that. Dr. Bob Bowman three days ago said this could easily dwarf Chernobyl. I want to get him to pop back in today. We do have a big expert coming on.